Welcome to the Franklin Market Update for the month of March 2022. I thought I'd start by actually addressing some of the elephants in the room. So the market has actually started to change. We're down on listings, not significantly from this time last year, but down on the number of sales. And that would suggest that with more inventory staying on the market, that there is less people in actively looking to purchase. So people are making decisions to purchase, but they're just taking a lot longer to do that. A buyer's market has emerged in Wellington with the longest days to sell in 15 years uh, being seen there at the moment. And that's a trend that they're actually thinking will start to be seen in Auckland. The number of properties that are actually being taken to the market by auction has fallen. And in the month of March, the number of houses being sold under auction conditions for the Auckland region actually fell to 26%. So that's 26% of everything that was actually taken to auction actually sold under auction conditions. So we are seeing fewer home, first time home buyers in the market. A lot of that due to the impact of the CCFA in terms of the criteria that they're using for lending. Now there are some changes due to be made to that on the 1st of June this year. Banks are reluctant to implement that, those changes in advance of, that, of the legislation being modified on the 1st of June. So in, in between times it's a bit of a sticky market in terms of what we're actually looking at. There is also uh, the higher interest rates and obviously inflation. All having an impact on whether or not people are actually looking to purchase, maybe just holding off in the short term to see what impact this is actually going to have on them and their house purchasing decisions. So we've talked about the fact that there actually are less buyers coming to open homes. There are less buyers buying at auction. So what actually happens in those sort of circumstances that when you've actually got less people out there actively buying is that there will tend to be a mismatch between what the buyer is prepared to pay and what the vendor is expecting for their property. We're almost two years on from the pandemic. Yeah, I said two years. It seems strange that we're actually standing here two years on talking about something that actually happened that long ago and uh, has lived, been part of our lives so much ever since then. But two years ago, they were suggesting that actually the market was going to fall by greater than they said by 10%. And of course, we all know that not to be true. Having said that, we are starting to see signs now because of the increasing interest rates, because of inflation, that we may well be going into that sort of period of decline in the market. Um, not substantially, but we will actually be seeing a, a more of a levelling out in terms of the uh, amount of increase or decrease that actually will be happening. The national average asking price declined for the second month in a row. In January it sat at 995,766 and declined to March's number of $974,019, which is down 1.6% on February 2022. Auckland's price at 1258336, which is their average asking price, was down 0.3% from the previous month. So what does a market like this mean to you? It means that you need to be looking for a professional, a seasoned professional, somebody that's actually seen the impact of this type of market in the past and understands how to guide you through it. Look, I've done that. And, and if you're looking for a real estate agent who understands the market, who keeps you up to date with it, and would love the opportunity to guide you through this process, then don't hesitate to give me a call.